Metro booming, want some more, nigga. Welcome back to Four Flow in TTV. Special guest, he Jones the goof in here with me. What up? Tell people who you are. Uh, my name is C. Jones. I'm an artist out of Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, give me some of the uh, your musical influences. Uh, a collection of people, but just specifically a few off the top of my head, I would say uh, maybe Kevin Gates, Don Tripp, uh, Wayne, uh, Two Tone. That's probably about it, off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, who do you, who do people most compare you to? Uh, I don't really get a lot of comparisons to different artists. I, uh, a lot of people that, that listen to me say that I have a unique sound, a unique uh, uh, style of music. So I don't get a lot of comparisons to a lot of people. I've got a few comparisons here and there to sounding like Kevin Gates or having metaphors like Two Chains or Wayne, but. I don't get a lot of comparisons. I'm just different. Okay. So, how long have you been doing music? Uh, play, play in middle school, just recording a few things with my friends on the computer. But as far as taking it seriously, I first started in 2009 when I started Four Flow Enterprise. Uh, and as far as even more serious than that, I would say probably around 2000. 15, 16, when I started back on it, kind of serious, kind of tough. Okay. So, um, what's the name of this project that you've been working on? Some Dark Vibes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, I started working on it, i probably say, probably about 2017. Uh, basically, a story of uh, heartbreak, uh, good and bad, the battle between uh, good and evil, uh, in so many words, uh, basically about some of the things that I was going through during the past four to five years, uh, kind of just summed up in a movie. Uh, the main theme of it is a situation I encountered where I had a brush with the criminal justice system in the movie. I explained what happened and how I overcame that. That's the main theme of the movie, but throughout the movie, it's different little battles and obstacles. Uh, that see faces that he has to make a decision on. Okay. Um, what would you call the hit singles off that off this project? Uh, I would say all nine of the songs, all nine of the records on the project, but a lot of what uh, the feedback is saying is people like Evolve, people like Saw Somi, people like Paranoid. Uh, I get a lot of feedback on all the tracks. It just kind of depends on the person and the, the, the listener and what song they prefer. But in my opinion, all nine of them are hits. So you want to introduce the, the under 18 individuals with you? Uh, this is my son right here, Amir. You see him in the movie. This is my daughter, Zaya. You see her in the movie as well. Okay. Give us some details on the incident that you was talking about, the brushing with the legal justice system. Uh, basically, it went into work one day. I was working at a youth facility at the time. Uh, I think I was like 26 at the time. No priors. I was a three-time college graduate at this point. Uh, I had my master's degree. So basically, went into work, regular normal day. Uh, I had three or four of the kids with me, some of the trustee kids, which are the uh, kids that are very well behaved at the facility. We went to the cafeteria to get some food, uh, the food for the cottages. And as we were coming back, as I was pulling back up, I noticed two young boys fighting. And as they were fighting, I saw that two female staff were trying to break it up, but they appeared to be having a difficult time. So instinctively, uh, after at this point, three or four years of working in the juvenile system, instinctively I threw the company vehicle into park. Uh, I got the kids that were in the van safely to the cottages. I ran over to the cottage where the two young people were fighting. I assisted the two women in breaking the fight up. Uh, once we break that fight up, we separate the young boys. Another fight breaks out between two young girls. Uh, we kind of settle that situation between the two young girls. And at this point, one of the boys who was involved in the fight, 
is in uh, the timeout room, the seclusion room, whatever you want to call it. And the staff that's with him is a, a older guy. So uh, in my mind, something just tells me to ask him, does he want to swap uh, the kind of system? So I swap with him. And as I'm in the seclusion room with one of the young boys from the fight, he begins to become even more irate uh, and just very aggressive. And so he was waiting, well, we were waiting on the nurse to return so we could give him his meds. And so once she returned, I heard her coming into the room. And as I heard her approaching from the rear, I heard the, the young boy started saying certain slurs to her and he charged at her. So when he charged at her instinctively, I kind of tripped him and took him down to the ground to protect him, myself, and the nurse. And it was nothing that hurt him, harmed him in any type of way. But based on the facility that I worked with, that was a violation. And um, as a 26-year-old, three-time college graduate with no priors, uh, based on that incident, I was charged with felony abuse. Um, and I went on to be sentenced to three years probation and anger management and other little different uh, uh, things that I had to adhere to, but I ended up being non-adjudicated. And in 2021, this year, earlier this year, uh, my record was expunged and I had beat it. Okay. Would you like to go any further with that or that's, that's the end? Uh, that's the end of that. Uh, shout out to God. <laughs> shout out to God. So, um, a lot of people will label rap music as being vulgar and obscene, and with you having uh, other ventures tied into the youth and, and, and kids, how do you balance the two? How do you keep them from, uh, from being judged or labeled as maybe like hypocritical? Uh, that's a good question uh, and I've been asked that before my thing is I've learned that uh, everything in life is about perspective so I feel it's based on this perspective that you choose to take for example I would ask people if I was to become popular or make it or become famous for acting but all of my roles were vulgar uh, gangster thug roles would you tell your kids that Hey, he's all his roles are, are Denzel Washington training they like roles. You don't need to look up to him. I wish you tell your kids that hey, he still made it out of Jackson. He's a successful actor. So I think it's based on the perspective. And I've also had to learn that working with youth, uh, and not just with youth, anywhere you go in this world, when you approach a new different type of culture, you have to speak their language. And the youth today, their culture, they're a whole different world. So you have to speak their language. So I would explain to any youth, any parent that the things that I talk about in my music are things that I've experienced in the past and it's also what you choose to highlight. You can go through my songs and pick and choose negative things that I express to talk about from my past or you can pick and choose the numerous inspiring and motivational things that other artists won't tell people are afraid to say. So I think it's basically picks and chooses and I would I would challenge any parent uh, first and foremost is based on you know your parenting if your child listens to my music but secondly I would challenge any parent to if C. Jones' music is the first time your child has ever heard cussing then I sincerely apologize if C. Jones' music is the first time your child has any, ever heard anything vulgar or anything of that matter then I truly apologize but based on the world we're in, I don't think that's the case. And I think it's a lot of inspirational and powerful messages in my songs for the youth. And so I think it boils down to perspective and what the audience chooses to highlight. All right, so do you have a release date for the Dark Vibes project? I'll say soon. I've been telling uh, the viewers and fans, Dark Vibes the movie coming soon, coming soon. But it's official, it's coming soon. I won't put a date on it. But it will be here soon. Okay. Do you want to give give them any information to uh, be able to reach you? YouTube page, Instagram page, any other social media? Uh, just follow me on YouTube. Most importantly, is C Jones. That's S W C Jones. Subscribe to the channel. 
So you won't miss out on any content on Instagram. It's C Jones the Goof, S W E Jones D A G Double O F, and on Facebook C Jones S W E. You can reach me at all platforms and on SoundCloud C Jones S W E. This shit ain't a movie. Speaking of movie, I got dropped by in the final stage. Shit is a movement. Just finished ruthless. Can't catch the time that a nigga played.